Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Then when you're ready, press play to check your work. All right, fifth grade, welcome back. So we see that the directions say to use the rule to fill in the two column table below. So we have the rule right here, which is two X plus four. That means two and X are being what? They're being multiplied, right? And then we add four. So just to show how this rule is working, let's take this input right here of two. Our inputs are the X. So let's plug in two times two. So we're taking that input of two and plugging it in right there, plus four. That would be two times two is four plus four equals eight. So that's how this works. But what we have to do is we have to plug in the outputs for the answers that are being displayed down here. So we would click these little drop down features to select our answer and let's see what we get. So let's start with the first one. If we have an input of zero, that would be two times zero plus four. Two times zero is what? Zero and zero plus four is four. So when we drop down that menu, we would select four. Moving on to, let's put the input as one plus four. So multiply them first, two times one equals two plus four. What's two plus four? Six, awesome. So drop it down and select six. And last but not least, we've got the two with an input of three plus four. Two times three equals six. And six plus four equals what? It does equal 10, awesome. So we would select 10 right there, all right? So that is how you would show your journey on paper. Go ahead and pause the video if you still have notes to copy and when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.